first we need to prepare Vagrant file. To create a Vagrant file, we can run the command Vagrant init. So I already run this command. When we run this command, it will create a file named Vagrant file. So we have to modify this file. So this is the modification I made. So here I am using Vagrant VBox. This particular Vagrant VBox I am using. So the canonical provided the default Vagrant VBox for uh, Ubuntu 16.04 is not working for me so that's why I am using this particular Vagrant uh, VBox then if you want to set host name you can set it here then I added three interfaces that is not that is optional you need only one then memory of the virtual machine I set to 10 GB So this is a Vagrant file configuration. After that, we need to create that virtual machine. For that, we need we have to run the command Vagrant up then name upstream. So this is a name I given here. So this name we need to use. So we had run Vagrant up upstream master. So I already created that VM. So it's showing virtual machine already provisioned. Okay. So let me SSH to that machine. Vagrant SSH upstream master. okay so once we SSH to that machine we have to first we need to clone dev stack so we can clone we can do git clone this particular URL this will clone the master branch of dev stack so I, I already cloned it you can see the folder here dev stack if you go to the devstack folder inside that devstack folder we need to create one file named local conf local dot conf so this is the changes i made in that local dot conf file this is the ip address of this particular virtual machine so this is these are the changes because I made these changes because I need to install heat, tempest, Mistral, designate. If you don't want all these services, we can you can command it. So I also installing tacker. If you don't need tacker on all, the, all those additional services, you can command all these lines. You need only I think you need only these lines. Okay. These are for Neutron configuration. So you need only these lines. So if you don't need those additional services. Okay. After that, you need to you need to run dot slash stack. Once you run those uh, stack dot sh, uh, I already run this stack dot sh. You can see it will do like this. will do all these things and finally once it complete you can see this message something like this
stack dot sh completed in 3651 seconds and you can see the horizon dashboard url here identity service endpoint you can see here and this so once you see this message that means stack dot sh completed and your setup is ready so you can try to access this url so let me open this So you can see the dashboard here. Here this IP address is different because uh, this setup is running in a remote server. So I am using port forwarding to access the, that setup. That's why here the IP address is different. So let me log in. Right now I installed from master branch of DevStack. So if you want to install Okata, you can clone this particular branch. So all those branches are here. You can clone it. So let me go to slash opt stack. So in this folder you can see source code of all the projects actually this dev stack will clone projects to this particular location so you can check the branch there for example go to nova and check jit jit branch so we are using master branch of nova and jit remote minus v so we clone from this location okay so this way we can set up openstack latest version of openstack in uh, vagrant vm 